on here, guys, and today we're talking about the Uzi 85. Phased plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Hey, just what you see, pal. The Uzi 9 millimeter. You know your weapons, buddy. This is a DIY um, build it yourself drone. This is the perfect first drone for so many of you guys out there. You've been thinking about buying a drone, thinking about building a drone don't really know where to get started, don't know how to solder, well, this is the right craft for you because this whole thing was built up without soldering a single joint. That's right. Everything is screwed on. Everything is plugged in. So if you can operate a screwdriver and you can plug in an outlet on your home, then you have the necessary skills to build this up yourself. It is exceptionally easy. Um, the motors all plug directly into this crazy bee all in one flight controller, electronic speed controller, and it also houses the receiver on board. This uses an FR Sky SPI built in receiver. Now, that's not going to give you the maximum range, but it is going to give you the maximum ease of use. So, this is a really robust, exceptionally lightweight. Craft. It has enough power to do plenty of tricks and has enough protection to take some hits if you are learning to fly. And, uh, you know, it has the Caddx Ant camera, which is an exceptional super light camera. It runs on a 2S battery. My recommendation is a 450 to 520 2S battery. I'll leave some links to a couple of options below. The whole thing is had for about 85 bucks for this entire package. It comes with the props. It comes with the motors. It comes with everything so you just need a little tiny screwdriver there's three screws per motor there is four screws for the top and two screws for the camera and that's it the camera actually plugs directly into this board there's a plug socket for it and the video transmitter is built in here as well um, so just take a look at the performance that you get for only 85 bucks um, if you want to learn how to fly a drone um, this is a great place to start. Now, how does this compare to some of the bundled kits out there? You have some kits like the uh, Beta 75 kit. You have some kits like the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 kit. Um, those actually come with pretty good radios. The Beta FPV radio is my recommendation for a cheap $40 radio. I'll leave a link for that. Um, and get some $40 goggles. Um, you are going to need a hobby grade charger in order to charge 2S LiPos for this X-T30. So that's another cost. I'll leave you an option down there for it. But what you get over those models is this might be a little tricky to fly in your house, but it's going to have more power, more forgiving. See, if you're not an excellent pilot, your spouse is probably not going to be wanting you to smash a small drone into the walls, into the TV, into your kids and or pets. So you're going to be relegated to the outdoors. Well, the problem is some of those beginner crafts while they do work well indoors if you have the skills while you're still developing your skills they're a little hard to fly in the wind they just don't have enough power this one does but it's not going to be so much power that you're going to get in trouble this is not enough weight to where if it crashes into you it's going to do any damage right okay now i just messed up my hair um so wow Really cool DIY job, guys. Um, you know, if you bought this completed, you probably pay a little bit extra, but because you're putting it together yourself, it's a real learning experience, and you save a couple of bucks at the same time. Even for somebody that's not familiar, following directions, you should be able to get this together in only about 15 to 30 minutes. Um, so really nice option. If you're looking to build your first drone, snag up one of these. Thanks, guys.